Okay, so I am here with Frank Warren, and you are the founder of Post Secret. That's right. It's a project I founded about seven years ago. About seven years ago, and really, it's kind of changed your life, hasn't it? It's taken my life and literally turned it upside down. I still get hundreds of secrets every week, and in total, I've received over a half million from all around the world. That's incredible. The thing that I like about it is that it's one of those ideas that's brilliant in its simplicity, kind of like eBay or other things, and you thought of it first, and fortunately also, you do it so well, too, which is really well, important. You. I'm happy that I can honor the secrets that people trust me with because I, I think they're beautiful. I think they're not only works of art that have been exhibited in the Museum of Modern Art in New York, but I think they really celebrate the stories of everyday people. And if, if you read enough of them, you start to feel a sense of empathy with people because one of the messages that comes through, I, I hope, is that everybody has at least one secret that could break your heart. And once you feel like that, I think maybe you have more compassion and maybe a little more empathy. I think so. And one, well, there are a lot of things that I find really great about it. One of them is that how clever people are and how, how, how skilled they are at expressing themselves succinctly and in, a, in an, a, an illuminating way that I don't, you know, most since I'm a professional journalist, I look at a lot of people's writings and I, I, you know, I think, oh, they're not very good writers. But somehow when people are confessing secrets on a postcard, they're just like p poetry. I agree with you. I think part of it is the limited nature of a postcard, just six inches by four inches that fits your full feeling and secret in there. But part of it, too, I think when you're dealing with a secret, a part of your life that you're struggling with, maybe you don't quite know what words to use to take ownership of it. And maybe that's why the art can be so beautiful, is because people are expressing those feelings that they can't put in words through images, visuals, pictures, diagrams. I think of it as, as punk art, people's art, and I think it shows how creative people can be. Yeah, well, a lot of it reminds me of the mail art from the 80s. Absolutely. Back when I was a zinester. Well, I was inspired, too, by Davy Rothbard and Found Magazine. Oh, cool, cool. I'm sure you've answered this question a lot, but can you tell me when the idea hit you to do this? Well, I was a small business owner for 20 years, just a suburban dad, and um, my, my, my business was lucrative, but it was, it was very tedious and monotonous, and I'm kind of thankful I had a job I didn't like because it motivated me to try something new. So on weekends and after work, I would pursue these postcard projects and Post Secret just, just caught fire. And I'm so thankful because for me, it gives me a sense of purpose and meaning and, um, and the opportunity to share the secrets and the stories at great places at TED and with you from Boing Boing. Mm -hmm. And so you have basically a, you kind of travel around the country or, or the world giving presentations, is that, is that yeah. right? That's, that's part of your, your life now. I spend 40 to 50 hours a week just on secrets, and a lot of that is traveling to universities, performing arts centers, and, and sharing secrets and stories behind them. But really, interestingly enough, what I'm doing more and more is, is kind of facilitating a safe place where audience members or students can stand up and share their own stories, their own secrets. So that's kind of the next level of what's happening. Oh, that's interesting. So that people from the audience share the secrets in, in public with people, yeah. reveal? Definitely not anonymous, mm -hmm. but you really get a strong sense of student solidarity when they see their classmates sharing these personal struggles they might have been having, mm -hmm. thinking they were alone. I know when I was in high school and college, I had a high degree of, of loneliness and maybe aimlessness too. So for me, this is the kind of uh, presentation I wish I could have seen when I was younger because I think I would have benefited from it. And maybe that's why I'm doing it today. Mm -hmm. And so you have four books out now? Is There's that right? five all Five, together. okay. And, and so we can just expect one every couple of years, it sounds like. Well, we, we're, we're talking about an e-book now, and there's mm -hmm. also the idea of taking secrets that were created from the PostSecret app and putting them in book form as well. Oh, that sounds fantastic. Yeah, there's something about secrets that seems to be inexhaustible. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you so much. The website is postsecret.com. Thank you, Mark.